So, good morning and welcome to uh, Satanta Whistles. Uh, we're going to give you a, a quick look, an insight into how we strip down our whistles, alright? Okay, so this is a soprano whistle here, soprano C, okay? Over here we have our lathe, alright? And uh, what's more important is, um, as, as, as we're making them, we use different grades of sanding blocks, alright? Okay, these were made, these particular ones were made by 3M, alright? Super, because we've tried all sorts of ones and we found that these were lasted the longest and had the, had the bit where were actually made of aluminium oxide. Really, really good little tip there. All right, okay. So we've two different grades. You can see the you can see them there. You can look them up online. And then we also use pot scrubbers or abrasives. All right. Now, big shout out to see abrasives here because these have made our life so much easier. So we've got three different grades. We've got a general purpose. All right. Then we've got a fine, and then we have. Uh, we have an ultra fine, all right, which gives us our final finish, all right. Okay, so here's our C whistle, right. Now, as we if we have a look at our C whistle, we can see even though it was it was worked on a CNC lathe, all right, it was made on a CNC lathe, so it's highly, it's really, really accurate. Okay, it's made to within uh, two thousand of a mil, so our holes are drilled, all right. So they're extremely accurate. But having said that, okay, you will get. Uh, scouring marks and stuff like that from the machinery where it gripped it, all right? So we have to strip all this, this kind of stuff down. Have a look, here's how we do it, okay? Now, these little parts were made down in Cork, or in, in Carlo for us, by Carlo Toolmaking Services. Again, they've been an absolutely brilliant help, all right? Without them, we wouldn't be able to do half our work. Right, let's have a look. So, here's our grades. Here's how we're gonna do it. We're gonna start with a, a medium grade, rough, or a coarse grade, all right, which is about 60 grit, down to 100 grade, okay, 100 grit. Uh, then we're going uh, general purpose, all right, general purpose, uh, fine and ultra fine. All right, now, all right, here we go. So, let's time this. I reckon we can do it in less than a minute. Well, a about a minute, there it is. Okay. Right, here we go. Everything is in fours for the moment, alright? Let me see how we get out. Hundred grade bit. Little tip, as I was doing this, and because obviously being a primary school teacher before this, I wasn't used to manual labour. So I started getting RS, uh, um, RSI, repetitive strain injuries in my shoulder. So I learned how to do things both, uh, well, I feel extras now, I can do them both right handed and left handed. So I split the load. Left handed. Fine. And also fine. Now, as I say, this is going to give us our finish, right? So it's important that we come, come back at the end. It's going to give it a slight little grain. So we're going to do it really slowly at the end. This is the most important part. And done. Okay, let's inspect and see how we get on with that. Okay. Ah, okay. So. As you can see, there's still one or two little small marks. Now, this, this, is, going to, this is going to be clean downstairs, all right? Oh, I found something. Right, I'm going to have to work on that, all right? 
that's another day's work. But oh, so we've got the, we've got the basics. She's she's in, she's in fairly good condition. I might have to I'll have to there's one or two little marks still left on it. So I have two choices now. I can either go back to the lathe or else I can bring her over to this little lad here and and work it on that first. All right. Okay. Over now. Bye for now. Good meal, Slow live.